Nine and a half years ago, a spacecraft called New Horizons set off on a mission to Pluto. Now, it's about to arrive. Right now, the New Horizons spacecraft is about to rendezvous with a planet no bigger than Alaska, just 1,400 miles across. The most ambitious space shot ever. Pluto has always had the power to inspire. From Walt Disney back in the 30s, to an outraged public in the noughties. But the truth is, Pluto is a place we know so little about. The big unanswered question about Pluto is what does it even look like? With inside access to the New Horizons team, this is Pluto like you've never seen it before. Nine and a half years in space, and it all comes down to one intense, nerve-wracking day. It's showtime. Humans are movers. We're a relentlessly restless species. Natural migrants, wanderers, adventurers, explorers, always have been. We have this insatiable restlessness. In the space of a few hundred thousand years, we left Africa, crossed oceans, reached every part of our world. And now, now we go to other worlds. We've been to Mars, Jupiter, and Mercury. We've seen Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and Venus. And Pluto is so much more than the name of a cartoon dog. It's the last unexplored world of the solar system, a potential gold mine of discovery perhaps the key to understanding the origins of our own planet. And right now, NASA spacecraft New Horizons is about to open up that world to us for the first time. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You please... New Horizons has even made it to the world's favorite geek show. I'm worried about the New Horizons space probe. We get to see him flip out because he's worried it was demolished by space ice. Space ice is no joke. <laughs> Can't even watch Frozen anymore. We'll soon know if this audacious mission has succeeded. The New Horizons team is made up of some of the world's most elite space scientists. Hal Weaver, project scientist. To see the face of Pluto is going to be astounding. Fran Baganal, Particles and Plasma Team. We have only a very, very fuzzy glimpse of Pluto right now. Gabe Rogers, Guidance Team. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Amanda Zangari, Geology and Geophysics Team. I still don't believe it's real. Mission Leader Alan Stern has devoted 26 years to this project. You can feel the energy in the team. We're almost there to get what we did all this for. New Horizons blasted off on its epic voyage in 2006. The same year that Twitter began. It was the fastest man-made object ever to leave the Earth. A year later, it whizzed past Jupiter, just as the first iPhone was launched. The team used the opportunity to test New Horizons cameras on Jupiter and her moons grabbing some of the best pictures ever of a volcano erupting in space. All through 08 and 09, it sped silently through empty space as the world descended into financial chaos. On and on towards tiny Pluto, over three billion miles away. A 1,000-pound masterpiece of engineering the size of a grand piano hurtling through the outer solar system at 10 times the speed of a bullet. At 9 miles per second, 
It's moving so fast that when it gets to Pluto, it can't land. During encounter, it will attempt to swoop over the surface, taking the critical photographs and measurements in less than two hours. The encounter is so fleeting, mission control must guide the spacecraft minute by minute. This is the expected error bar from Ivan. To put it exactly where it needs to be. 